Hi everyone. Today we are going to study the rank and nullity of a graph. When someone specifies a graph denoted by G, the first thing that he is most likely to mention is N, that is the number of vertices in the graph G. So whenever we hear the term graph, obviously most of the times, the first term that comes into our mind is the number of vertices in that graph, which is usually denoted by small n. Immediately after thinking about the uh, number of vertices in the graph, the next term that comes to our mind is the number of edges in the graph denoted by E. So the two most important terms related to a graph is the number of uh, vertices in the graph and the number of edges connecting those vertices in the graph. Then comes K that is the number of components the graph G has. After the these two important terms that is the number of edges denoted by N and the number of uh, sorry the number of edges uh, uh, vertices denoted by N and the number of edges denoted by E the next term that comes to our mind is the number of components that are denoted by K. Now if a graph is connected, if a graph G is connected then it will have only one component that means the graph itself. So if G is connected K equals to 1 that means the number of components will be 1 in that case when the graph G is a connected graph and that component will be that graph itself. So how are these three things related? As I said, the three important terms or things that come to our mind when we talk of a graph is the number of vertices N, the number of edges E and the components of the graph K. So how are these three terms that is your N, K and E related to each other? Since every component of a graph must have at least one vertex. Now, whether it is a connected graph or a disconnected graph. If it is a connected graph, it will have one component. If it is a disconnected graph, it will have more than one component, which can be two, three, four, any number. But uh, irrespective of the fact whether it is a connected graph or a disconnected graph it will have comp at least one component and every component of the graph must have at least one vertex as we have already studied that uh, a graph still exists if there are no edges in it if there are only vertices and no edges we still call it a graph but it cannot be ca uh, called a graph if there is no vertex in it so to call it a graph, it must have at least one vertex. Even if there is just a single vertex like this, you can call it a graph. So that means every component of a graph must have at least one vertex so that we can call it a graph. So that means the number of edges is always either greater than or equal to the number of components. If there is one component k then the number of vertices in this component k will be at least one so n will either be equal to k if it is one or say for example if it is two three or some higher number then it will be greater than k so that means n is always either equal to or greater than k because every component must have at least one vertex so that that component can be called a graph the number of edges in component can be no less than the number of vertices in that component minus 1. Right? So, the number of edges can no less uh, can be no less than the number of vertices in that component minus 1. So, the number of edges will always be either greater than the number of vertices minus 1 or equal to the number of vertices minus 1. Right? From these three numbers, that is the number of vertices, the number of edges or the num and the number of components are derived to other numbers. And what are these numbers? These are called the rank and nullity of the graph. 
So from this already existing terms, that is the number of vertices of the graph, the number of edges of the graph, the number of components of the graph, BV derive two other terms or numbers which are known as the rank of the graph and the nullity of the graph. The formula to find out the rank of a graph is n minus k. Rank is denoted by r, so we can say r is equal to n minus k. That means the rank is equal to the number of vertices minus the number of components in the graph. The nullity is derived with the help of the formula e minus n plus k. Nullity is denoted by mu, so we say mu is equal to e minus n plus k, where e represents the number of edges, n represents the number of vertices, and k represents the number of components in that graph. The, if we talk of a connected graph, then the rank of a connected graph is n minus 1. In case of a uh, disconnected graph or in general, the formula for the rank is n minus k. Rank is equals to n minus k as we have just seen. But if it is a connected graph, it is quite it is obvious that it will have only one component. That is the k will be 1. So if I am talking of a connected graph, obviously it will have only one component, that graph itself. So, in that case, the rank will be calculated as n minus 1. And similarly, the nullity in case of a connected graph will be e minus n plus 1, where this 1 is representing the number of components. And we know in case of a connected graph, there is only one component. So, nullity can be found using the formula e minus n plus 1. Now, this is one way of finding out the rank and nullity of a graph. The other way out is by calculating the number of branches or the number of chords. Now, before I tell you the way uh, of finding rank and nullity of a graph, by counting the number of branches or counting the number of chords, you must know what are branches. Branches are those edges which are part of the spanning tree or the spanning forest. And chords are those edges which are not part of the spanning tree or the spanning forest. Now let's see how you find out the rank of a graph by counting the number of branches. So the rank of a graph G is equal to the number of branches in any spanning tree or spanning forest of a graph. If you count just those edges which are included in the spanning tree and in case you have more than one spanning tree then those edges which are included in the spanning forest of the graph only those edges then you find the rank of the graph. And how do you find the nullity of a graph? Nullity of a graph can be found by counting the number of chords in the graph. That means only those edges which are not there in the spanning tree or spanning forest. You exclude all those edges which are there in the spanning tree or spanning forest and then you count the left out edges. The edges which are left after discarding or removing those edges present in the spanning tree or spanning forest then you find the number of and then you find the nullity of the graph so all those edges which are there in the graph other than the spanning tree or the spanning forest gives you the nullity of the graph so this is the other way out to find the find the rank or nullity of a graph so basically if rank includes all those edges which are there in the spanning tree or spanning forest and nullity includes all those edges which are not there in the spanning tree and the spanning forest then the rank plus nullity will give you the total number of edges in the graph. The nullity of a graph is also referred to as its cyclomatic number or Bet, first Betty number. So if somebody asks you about the cyclomatic number or the first Betty number, you do not have to get confused. That is nothing but the nullity of a graph. Now let's find the rank and nullity of a graph with an example. If I consider this particular uh, sorry connected graph, this is a uh, connected graph, hence it has only one component, this graph itself. Now this graph has a spanning tree and the edges which are highlighted in red lines are the spanning tree of this particular graph. Obviously this graph has more than one spanning tree. That means this graph has a spanning forest. But for the simplicity of explanation, I am assuming 
a hypothetical situation wherein this graph is having only one spanning tree this is the only spanning tree if i assume that this is the only spanning tree that can be found in this graph then in that case it just has a spanning tree and no spanning forest and in this case if i want to find out the rank of the graph g then there are two ways out one is using the formula which says the rank is equal to the n minus k that is the number of vertices minus the number of components and since i know this is a connected graph so k will always be one and the number of vertices i have already counted are seven so n minus k which is equal to seven minus one gives you six hence the rank of this graph is six the other way out is to count the number of branches in the spanning tree obviously branches are those edges which are included only in the spanning tree so that means i will not count the blue edges because they are not part of the spanning tree i will only count the red edges because they are part of the spanning tree and if there were a spanning more than one spanning tree that means if there were was a spanning forest i would have counted all those edges included in the spanning forest but for simplicity i am here assuming that there is only one spanning tree so that means as per the rule i will count only the branches of the spanning tree that means only those edges which are highlighted by red because these red edges represent the spanning tree of this graph so what are the branches of the spanning tree 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so that means total number of branches of the spanning tree are 1 2 3 4 5 6 i'm sorry it's not 7 it's 6 1 is this then 2 then 3 then 4 then 5 and 6 so these are the branches which are there in the spanning tree so total six branches i have in the spanning tree that means the rank of the graph is 6 so either way out whether i use this formula or whether i count the number of branches in the spanning tree the rank will always be same which is 6 in both the cases so it is up to you which way you want to use to find out the rank of the graph similarly if i want to find out the nullity of the graph one way is using the formula e minus n plus k now since this is a connected graph obviously there is one component one that means k is one the total number of edges in this graph are 14 right one this is one edge two edge three edge four edge five edge six edge seven edge eight edge nine edge ten edge eleven 12 13 14 so the total number of edges in this graph are 14 and the vertices we have already counted are 7 and the component is only 1 so 14 minus 7 plus 1 gives you what 8 this is one way using the formula then the other way out is counting the number of chords in the graph that means all those edges which are not there in the spanning tree and since i know the edges in red are the ones which are there in the spanning tree so that means i will count all those edges which are not red so i will count all the blue edges because they are not part of the spanning tree so 1 2 then 3 then 4 then 5 then 6 then 7 and then 8 again i'll count it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so total number of chords that means those branches which are not in the spanning tree are 8 that means the nullity of the graph is 8 so either if i found it uh, either if i find the nullity using this particular formula it is 8 or if i uh, find it by counting the number of chords in the graph even then it is 8 either ways the nullity will always be same so again it is up to you which way you want to use to find out the nullity of a graph now as you know since the rank includes all those edges which are in the spanning tree and nullity includes all those edges which are not in the spanning tree so adding up the rank and nullity gives you the total number of edges in the graph and total number of edges is rank plus nullity that means 6 plus 8 gives you 14 and we just counted that the total number of edges in the graph were 14 which gives you the correct number so this way you can say that the rank plus nullity is equal to the total number of edges in the graph